What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Supermax Prisoner's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the SDCC Marvel Legends 2016 exclusive of the Raft prison set. And overall, it's pretty good. A couple little nitpicks on each figure, but for the most part, pretty solid effort. And we're going to break it up into teams of two and kind of go through the whole set. I could put this into two videos, but since it's one set, better to do it as one video, I feel. So let's get started with Dread Knight and Spider-Man. We'll do Dread Knight first. Uh, he comes with two accessories. The sword I'm going to leave rubber banded in as they have it. We got black paint on the handle, and that's about it. And it's a pretty decent sculpt. I like the little circles in the sword and everything. I think that we're definitely going to get a Black Knight out of this mold, I hope anyway, for our Avengers shelf. We'll have to wait and see. And then we have like the little thing, like you're riding on a horse and going to hit somebody. Head sculpt I love. Um, and there's like, because they use that like marbly texture, it gives it a really good look for the face, and I dig that. I'm not that familiar with this character, but I think it looks pretty cool. And then the wings are pretty cool. Eyes are painted black and then red on top, and then we have black paint on the teeth, and all that's done fairly well. Ball hinge for the head, so we get up to there, down to there, and then the swivel, so that works fine. We have this like nice metallic blue kind of throughout on all the blue and it looks like it even has a wash on it and it's just beautiful it's a beautiful finish purple is rather plain but it's not the worst thing in the world and then this is a floating piece uh, and then the pouches are all look like they've been washed and painted and then you can put his sword in the little holster there which is also nice and then the gloves are a floating piece here and here and that's it. So let's go through. And then this looks like tampered paint to me, this white skull and crossbones, but they look good. So disc hinge shoulders get you out to there all the way around. I guess this is an accessory too. It's a cape. It doesn't look too bad. We'll get back to it. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, um, wrist swivel, hinge in and out. It's a holding hand. you got two accessories to be held, so I'm okay with that. Same for the other side. we got a waist swivel. That's good. And then we have an ab crunch, one click forward, one click back. we got a pretty serious gap in there. And I don't feel like we've had a, that serious gap in the same mold before. Like Hobgoblin, I don't remember it being that, but it's, it's definitely there now. Not the biggest deal, but definitely worth pointing out. T-jointed ball joints for hips, not the best. Get you out to there. Forward to there, back to there, that works fine. It's just the out to the side that doesn't get you the best. Thigh swivel that's really tight, not as tight as Spider-Man's, which we'll get to in a second. And a double jointed knee, which works well. Calf swivel, um, so they can have interchangeable boots. I think that's okay now, as we've talked about before. Good wrinkles and stuff in the, in the pants, we've seen that before. Ankle tilt down, even a good bit up, and ankle rocker. So all that works well. Back of the figure looks good, and then we have the cape, which plugs in here. I do have a little scratch there on my blue. And it sits on him fairly nicely. So all in all, pretty good. As for Spider-Man, this. Uh, so I was thinking about selling this guy, but now looking at him, like it's so McFarlane, I may not be able to let it go. But the head itself, oh God, it looks good. Um, it's on a ball hinge. We got a little bit of garbage up in there, but it's not the worst. It looks a little weird from that angle, but still not the worst. Uh, so overall pretty good. I, I love the eye paint. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the best light here. I love the eye paint. All the webbing looks pretty good. It's a little, it's, it's still got more of a curvature than we saw on the last one, um, but it gets a little straight around there, but overall it's pretty good. Um, the, the spider in the front looks good. Spider in the back looks okay. So we got this butterfly joint, which you know I have mixed feelings about. We've talked about this with Iceman. So it's not connected at the top, which I feel it should be. It's only connected at the bottom, and as a result, it kind of moves around a little wonky. It still works fairly well, even though the paint is gummed up a bit there. But as you go to manipulate this tight shoulder, it feels like you're putting stress on the peg that sits down into the ribs. So that's not the best. Bicep swivel. Uh, we got some paint scratching and stuff going on there. A lot of these joints are really tight on this guy. Double jointed elbow, that works fine. Wrist swivel and a hinge in and out on a fist hand and then a web slinging hand with no alternative hands and I'm okay with that. Same articulation for the other side. Uh, this butterfly joint works a bit better than this one. This one wants to put stress on that peg instead of moving freely. Um, this one works a lot better. Not perfect, but a lot better. Waist swivel, we've kind of come to expect. Destroys the skull, but a little bit won't hurt you. 
uh, good ab crunch down, good back, a little bit of gap in there, but the paint follows through, so that's nice. T-jointed ball joints for hips get you out to here, which isn't the best for Spider-Man, but it's not the worst either. Forward and back to there, which is pretty much perfect. Thigh swivel, which is insanely tight, and I'm not comfortable really messing with it because I don't want to snap the peg. Double jointed knee, getting you the full Monty. And then an ankle tilt, a fair bit up, and a rocker. Uh, and the black lines are pretty much clean across the board. A couple places where the black line don't go to the edge of the red. I've noticed this problem on the last Spider-Man 2. This might be a digital paint problem that they're just kind of getting into and having some a bit of growing pains with. But overall, uh, not bad. Next up, we'll do Sandman and Purple Man. Uh, both reusing different molds that we've seen before. We'll start out with Purple Man. Now, as many of you know, this is not my favorite mold, uh, mainly because he has a hard time standing. Uh, he's not the most well-balanced figure, and uh, the feet don't do him any favors. So that's my main issue with this mold. This We've seen it with Agent Coulson, I believe, and some others. But I love the face sculpt, and the paint looks really good as well. And it really embodies Purple Man. It looks great in that regard. The, the overall mold looks great. It's just getting them to be functional. So we got a head uh, ball hinge for the head down to there, up to there. Hair sculpting looks good. The eye paint and stuff looks good. I feel like this eyebrow sits a little higher than what it should be. I know some people will think that's a nitpick, but if you look at it, see how it's like off? I think that's more the growing pains from that digital paint. But the eyes look fantastic. And... Uh, the red is just flat red plastic, but it works just fine. Flat purple, softer plastic suit, flat purple arms, flat purple legs, flat black shoes. Only paint we have is on the belt, but the belt is done well in addition to the head. So this is a loose piece here too. Ab crunch uh, doesn't click down, but you get a little bit down. And even one click back. And then we have ball hinge shoulders. They get you out to there. Swivel around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel with a hinge in and out. Two holding hands, no accessories, so I think that's pretty dumb. Same for the other side. Waist swivel, um, that works well. And it doesn't really destroy the sculpt that well. The, the jacket helps hide a lot of the problems there, so that's good. T-jointed ball joints for hips. Not the best, but not the worst out to the side. Front and back is kind of fine. Thigh swivel, so that's fine. Double jointed knee, that works well. Looks silly, but it, it works. And then we had the pants, the wrinkles and stuff. Sculpt-wise, they all look good. Big right there on the leg, which is a bit of a bummer. Big left on the other side. <laughs> um, yeah, which is fine. It almost... Yeah, it's right. But it, my, mine was warped a little bit in the package, so I was making sure it was right. But yeah, it's right. And then we have ankle hint, tilt down to there. Not much up. You could use a little bit more up to help him stand. And an ankle rocker. Same on the other side. So that's this guy. This guy is reusing the Absorbing Man. Uh, they went with the just totally turning into sand look. I would imagine we'll get one of these in the traditional green striped shirt. That would be my guess, but not 100% sure. So, it looks like it's a ball peg on a hinge for the head. So down to there, back to there. And then back and forth. This uh, hair here, very Norman Oswald. But it is dry brush with a brown. It's like a dark brown, then it's a light brown dry brush. That looks good. Uh, the face sculpt, and it's not the best expression, but for the expression they chose, the sculpt and paint all look good for it. Veins all show out well, even through the sand in the shirt, which is weird, but we know why that happened. Uh, waist swivel, a little loose. Ab crunch, super loose. Uh, sculpt is a little weird there, too. Ball hinge shoulders get you out to there, down to there, thigh, uh, thigh swivel, bicep swivel, and swivel all around, so that all works well. Single jointed elbow, a little less than 90 degrees, but for a bigger character, you know it doesn't bother me. Wrist swivel, hinge in and out, that all works well with a fist, and then a holding hand with no accessory, which you know I think is stupid. Two fists would have been better, or a little sand, a little sand weapon uh, articulation, though, is the same. Floating belt that we've seen before, but the paint on it looks good and clean where it's applied. 
We have disc hinge, T-jointed disc hinge hips, which is not my favorite, but it is extremely effective. It just doesn't look the best. That little bulbous part at the hip it always looks a little weird to me. And then, of course, they hinge up. Also, there's a swivel inside. This leg keeps popping off. I should also add while I'm here. Five swivels built in at that connection, though. And uh, double jointed knee, getting you a decent range past 90 degrees, so we'll take that. Uh, ankle swivel. And then we have a bit of a tilt up, a good tilt down, rockers built in, all the sculpting on the shoes and stuff look great. Um, and it's just like a, a, you know, it's a flat brown here. I, I feel like they could have painted the shoelaces, you know? I feel like they could have painted the shoelaces. There's not a lot of paint. I mean, the, the, the stripes on the chest and stuff were all done well, but, you know, I feel like they could have done that, but overall still a pretty good looking piece. And last up we have... Abomination and Enchantress. Enchantress being the true allure of this set, I think, for most people. Uh, Abomin Abomination. I almost said Abominus. Um, I, I got my joints are a little loose. Uh, it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Other than that, uh, we'll talk about the detailings real quick first. Green base plastic, and then it has like a dark green wash over all of it. Uh, which looks good. Now, some parts are washed better than others, like, or heavier, I should say, which does make it look a little inconsistent. So you have a darker wash up here. Um, it's kind of hit or miss on the top of his head, and then it's lighter on the bicep piece, which does kind of throw it off a taste. The trunks are just trunks, no paint there, and then the toenails are painted, eyes, mouth are painted, eyes are painted, and the sculpt is pretty cool. And we've seen this before. I think this is mostly Rhino. I could be wrong about that. Like a retooling of Rhino. Doesn't matter. Looks pretty good. As you can see, one of my ears here is wonky. Uh, but I have to say, it looks like the, the Captain America Build-A-Figure Abomination looks a, a taste better to me. But this is still good enough, I think. So, head, we have a ball hinge here. Um... It gets you down to there, up to there, and then the swivel. Uh, not a lot of room f to monkey around, so to speak, in there, but I think it's it's okay. Disc hinge shoulder, getting you out to there, and then 360 uh, up to there. Bicep swivel, uh, single hinged elbow, which I think is not fine for a figure this size. Sculpt isn't the worst either. Wrist hinge and hinge in and out for the hand, and the nails are painted. So that's all good. I like all the little bumps and stuff. I like all the texturing and sculpting detail. It does look good. Uh, ab crunch. At least one click back. Sculpt continues up, so that's nice. One click forward. So not the best, but not the worst. I think it's fine. Waist swivel destroys the sculpt, but just to use a little bit isn't too bad. And then T-jointed ball joints for hips that are pretty loose on mine. And then the thigh swivel is built in here. Single hinge knee, that joint's a little tight. That does look a little weird, but I don't think it's a big deal. It would have been nice if they sculpted the top part here, but I don't think it's a big deal. That's the tightest joint on this figure, on both sides. And then we have an ankle tilt down, good tilt up, and the rocker's built in. So, all in all, no real complaints um, other than some, some looser joints than you would like. And Enchantress. She comes with uh, the two things. They're kind of really getting their money's worth out of those things. But I think it's a pretty cool accessory. I'm okay with them. So uh, I got them clipped on pretty good, so I'm going to leave it be. Head is just on a single ball peg, I think. Yep. And the head itself is really well done. Um, let me get it close in. Uh, good eye paint. We have eye shadow, like a green eye shadow, if we can get her to focus. Which nice. The, the eyelashes look like this is that digital paint that they're using. There's no doubt about that. Eyebrows look good. The lips are painted well. There's a wash on the hair. Uh, there's a metallic... Sorry, my camera cut out for a reason. I'm not sure of. Metallic green paint there on the on the mask. So I think that all looks really good. Put that back on. Disc hinge shoulders. Out to there. And then around. Uh, no sculpt for the glove, but the green paint doesn't match 100%, but it's not the worst either. As you can see, it's probably hard to even pick up, but it is different. It's just not the worst. Single hinged elbow uh, swivel there, I imagine. Yes, 
for our bicep swivel. And then we have our little things here, and we have hinge in and out, or yes, in and out with opposing hand, and I think that that's fine. Same exact thing for the other side. Single ball joint for the abdomen, a diaphragm. This green looks way different. So that's a bit of a criticism. That, that would have been nice to see that metallic paint finish through. And then this metallic paint looks good here, and then the uh, little skirt is fine. It's a floating piece, no sculpted detail between the green and black underneath. Uh, the circles are painted really well. I'm guessing that's that same digital paint because they're really sharp and clean. T-jointed ball joints for hips get you out to there, forward and back to there, so that's good. There's even some sculpted detail on the chest, so that's pretty cool too. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, get you a good range. Ankle tilt, zero really up, a good bit back, and rockers built in. So that's all good. Final thoughts wise, I think it's a good set. That being said, I think we'll get an Enchantress, probably won't be the same paint design. I think, you know, we know we're getting an Abomination, not the same paint design. I would imagine we'll get another Sandman, different paint design. This Spider-Man, I would imagine at some point is coming maybe slightly different paint. I think that the only two you're not going to see in regular retail release is Purple Man, which we might get out of a Netflix wave, just not this design. And I imagine that Dread Knight will never see the light of day. It's a good set. Uh, a couple issues, some loose joints kind of around the board, and then some squeaky tight joints kind of around the board. So that's a little weird, not something I'm used to seeing with Legends. The paint overall, for the most part, is a huge improvement on par with what we've been seeing recently from the line. The articulation is still good. The accessories are still make sense. I wish we had a few more accessories, especially for characters with holding hands. I wish there were a few different decisions made. Like I wish that Enchantress had the chrome green, just because it looks so good. Uh, on on her her green on her like uh, unitar bit or whatever it is and and stuff like that but for the most part it's a really solid set my only issue is we're probably going to get most of these at retail so I'm just different paint sculpts or different character designs but you'll still have a representation of the character now I was able to pick this box set up for 200 shipped I was on top of it as soon as it went up for pre-order somewhere I grabbed it can't remember where it was now but I, I grabbed it. It wasn't one of my usual uh, retailers or e-tailers. Get out of here. Doesn't matter. But I grabbed it when, it when it went up. I got it for 200 and I'm happy with my purchase. I prefer comic book designs, especially for Purple Man and Enchantress. So I'm good with my purchase. But I think you'll see most of these at regular retail. So if you love these designs, I can highly recommend this set. I wouldn't spend more than 200 250 tops for it. But if you're not necessarily 100% addicted or need to be with these specific designs on your shelf, I'd say you can probably wait most of them out. I think the only one you might not see is Dread Knight, but that, I, I, that's predicated on nothing. It's just predicated on my experience. And my experiences have been weird recently. For instance, uh, Purple Man almost got me in some serious trouble this week. Let me see the Marvel Legends set you got. Okay, let me show you my Purple Man first the name of a character but i persevered at any rate thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care